Hi. What do you think of when I say Volvo? Many people say safety. Why do you think that is? That's because the company Volvo has spent a lot of time and energy to create a brand that's positioned around the concept of safety. They've done that very carefully and methodically in everything they do, the products that they create, the advertising, in every interaction. Why am I telling you this? Well, you may be a small business or a solo entrepreneur and trying to earn a living, generate revenue, attract customers. The core to being able to do that successfully is really having a great brand. A brand that means something, that's relevant to the customer, that's unique relative to what's in the marketplace, and that really represents your core your core competencies, your core passion and purpose. Actually, what I see so often is that entrepreneurs are having a really difficult time not only creating those brands and consistently communicating, but attracting customers, um, ma managing through all the marketing, the social media. And so many people say, I just want to do my craft or the service that I provide. I want to do what I love and not get bogged down in all this. They've done vision boards, but they're having a hard time realizing. Or they've done so many different types of marketing, but it's not really getting them what they want. If you're the same, maybe you could you could uh, benefit from my new program called Master of Business Abundance. It's a program that I've developed that's based on my 30 years of business experience, working for really small, medium, and large global uh, organizations of all kinds, including market-driven organizations like Nabisco and Unilever and so forth. And uh, what I do is take that experience and couple it with my formal business background as an MBA and offer that for conscious entrepreneurs, people who are really trying to awaken um, to a, a better life for themselves and the people that they serve, a way of uh, looking for a way of doing business and marketing that's not overly pushy, but that attracts customers, that a, a way that really serves uh, the client and offers great quality as well as generates profit for themselves. And I'm really excited about this program because I've already run it a couple of times and people are just loving it. What they find they really love the most is that it's small group, it's very intensive, we only have about four to six people, but we work. I work very, very closely with you. And it's over 24 hours of intense work together, plus all sorts of home assignments and, um, and work that you work in as a group as well. So this program is like a mini MBA, that's why I called it that. Um, but it's really an MBA for social entrepreneurs because it really has a lot of heart to it. We start off by looking at abundance issues that people come across because I found that when people started trying to develop their business, sometimes they were stuck in some emotional and psychological challenges based on a long time ago. So we start with that, then we go into trying to, something that I call finding your Zen spot, where's that point between where your purpose, your passion, your unique gifts, and all your background and education come together to help you to earn money, uh, create fun and joy in your life, and, um, and also bring some meaning. Once we do that, we look at kind of more, what kind of business is right for you? What kind of business structure, what kind of archetype um, are you so that you can find the right type of business and marketing that feels comfortable for you and is more authentic. Once we do that, we move on to look at very much, very strategically like a large business would the market, the market dynamics, the trends, the competitors, direct and indirect, and look at your ideal target and target segments and be able to de describe them. And also look at your own strengths, some of the challenges, the opportunities that you that could come from you in the market, as well as potential threats that you have to be aware of and mitigate. We do that so that you can really create that unique positioning in the market for yourself that's really clear. In your mind, then, then it becomes clear in the way you communicate it. That leads to the next part, which is developing the brand. I help you step by step through developing your brand from creating a mood board that reflects the mood that you're trying to create with the brand to a brand pyramid, which actually talks about all the, the communication, your elevator speech, your tagline, your brand essence, and the key support points that you'll have on your flyers and your brochures and your website. Once we do that, we move on to the marketing strategy.
the marketing strategy really looks at first starting with your hub, your website, your blog, if you need some e-commerce elements associated with that, and then goes out like kind of uh, ripples in a pond. What's the next element? It's the, all of the social media um, sites that you have to kind of create a presence on, like Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and, and so forth. And then we look at some of the other online communities that you can play in that are very targeted for your market. Then we also look at things like events and networking opportunities for you, some potentially direct mail, advertising, anything that you can add to your to your marketing arsenal that will help you to, be, to raise awareness of your business and attract customers. Finally, we pull that all together into a really concrete, what I would call like a blueprint or a roadmap for your business. It's like a business plan that has everything put together so you can use it for the next 12 to 24 months. And we add costs so you have a budget, you know how much you're going to be needing to spend, the time frame, the actual steps that are going to be involved, and whatever resources that you might need. So we put all that together so you really have a clear direction and roadmap for you to move forward with. Sound interesting? I hope so. If you'd like to learn more, please uh, feel free to email me or, or phone me. I'd love to hear from you and I'd be happy to give you a half an hour a free consultation to discuss a little bit more about your business and how the MBA program or some of my other programs might be of, of service to you. And uh, I wish you all the success and I hope to see you soon. Namaste.